Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Akuma MC Skyblock and in this video we're going to be expanding our farm currently. We are currently on the wheat and we are just, we did unlock the potato mastery so we're going to be making a potato farm and just making our farms way way more efficient so stay tuned to the very end. So to start things off, I'm going to go ahead and start mining, farming this wheat real quick. This is going to give me some gems and money and basically with these gems we can go ahead and check the slash shop. They did add some new things to the gem shop. You can actually buy these level 5 loot scroll and magic scrolls now which basically what the magic scrolls do is in these farms you can attach them to spawners and i think i have some of these villagers you can they actually boost the spawn rate and the loot just give you more loot from when they die so those are honestly some pretty good scrolls if you want to go ahead and get those and you can get gems from mining grinding and mining or farming and stuff like that so yeah gems are honestly really really important but we are going to go farm this but we are going to change the farm a little bit after i do mine it all because there is a way more efficient way that we can have this so there's just more wheat and stuff we don't really need all this water here because the water it's kind of just unnecessary i'm pretty sure water can but we can just make it way more efficient so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and farm real quick get some gems and stuff like that and i'll be back once i did mine it all this should give me a pretty good amount of tokens and or a pretty good amount of gems and i'm gonna use those gems for my farm and i think that's the main use for gems honestly i don't think we really even have a another use for gems so yeah we're just gonna use those all on the mob farm because honestly that does make it that makes a pretty decent amount of money and as we do keep expanding it and making it better it is going to be one of our main sources of making money so yeah we're definitely going to have to keep investing in that and these scrolls are honestly perfect to help make more money with our spawners currently i think i'm gonna make a new farm with potatoes i don't think i'm just gonna replace these with this wheat because i think if we have both farms going at the same time it's just gonna like help us level up our skills more make more money get more gems and stuff like that because it's gonna be two new farms that or we're gonna have two farms which is gonna be very very helpful two is gonna be better than one and we're just gonna have all those crops i think we might just just make it right below this one just so they both grow at the same time and stuff like that and i think that's honestly what we're gonna be doing in today's video i do want to go over some other things though it's like some ways people are actually getting a lot of value taking this stuff so yes we did just get to the farming skill level 15 so we did get some keys we're gonna open up those a little bit later and 10 zombie spawners which we're definitely going to take we're honestly gonna take any amount of spawners spawners are really good and you can get the main way we're going to get a ton of spawners is from those skill upgrades and level up because I'm pretty sure the ultimate skill level ups. Let me actually go check. If we do slash skills, the ultimate, it did give us like 64 enemy spawners last time. So that's really good. And yeah, I could just give you a whole bunch of spawners, uh, these ultimate skills, some money, some villagers. I don't know. They can just give you some pretty good stuff. So make sure you keep farming and stuff to level up your skills and ultimate skills and stuff like that for some pretty good rewards. Okay, so we're done farming everything. We made around probably like 40 to 80k. I don't really know. I'm not keeping really track of the money we get from farming but we did get around i think 2.6k tote or 2.6k gems which is not bad and once we do keep making more farms we're just gonna get more tokens from farming and stuff so i think i'm gonna go ahead and do that actually i want to fix up the first one or the wheat one first basically we just have too much water like we don't need all this water we can have a lot less water and more wheat so that's gonna make it way more efficient there's just gonna be more wheat and instead of going row by row we're gonna be able to just fly across farming like this which is gonna be way way more efficient than actually just going row by row because we're going row by row honestly takes a long time and this is gonna be very very helpful okay so i've done it to the first row basically something like this we don't really need the whole lines of water we can just have these little one blocks waters that are farming up the whole land which is gonna be just way way more helpful you can see we could put so much more wheat down so let me go grab some seeds and i'm gonna do this to every single one of them and then i'm gonna go ahead and make a potato farm we also do want to go ahead and expand our island so let's go ahead and see what we do need to get some more island size perks reach an island value of one mil we're at 100k so we do have a long way to go but with the method that i have figured out or that i've heard of we do we can start getting some pretty good value tickets and i'll go over that a little bit later probably but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and fix up these farms make a new one and i'll be back i honestly think i might be putting too much water uh i think i could space them out a little bit more because I don't know i think i'm just doing it a little bit wrong but it's still gonna be a little bit better i might go ahead and try to fix it but i'm just gonna continue this pattern for now because too late to go back or we could go back but i just want to finish it in this video and i do want to go ahead and build that potato farm as fast as possible so yeah all right honestly i've done half of the wheat farm i think i'm going to do the half other half later i do want to go ahead and start building the potato farm because that's it's going to be way better for us they sell for more and honestly we just need to keep leveling up our masteries just so we can try to get to the end one just so we can be making a ton of money from these farms so i think i'm gonna go ahead and build another one uh, i think i'm gonna go ahead and build it over here i don't really think we need it under there because 
honestly i don't know i don't know i think we're just gonna build it over here so i'm gonna go ahead and start building it and i'll come back once i do make a little bit of progress so yeah I'll be back okay so this is how much one water can actually like this is how many blocks one water can actually like make soil or whatever farmland so if we go ahead and just keep building this pattern we can actually build a lot more land without you having to use a a lot of water which just saves more space and gives us more places to put potatoes so yeah we're gonna go ahead and build a farm real quick and I, it's not gonna be too big we're gonna definitely expand it off camera but i do want to go ahead and just get a simple farm down and show you guys what it looks like okay so this is what we currently have we do need to go ahead and put down the farmland or start hoeing down the dirt but this is currently what we have so yeah let me go ahead and put the water so we have the water way more spaced out than the wheat and it is all going to work and the potatoes are going to be way 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 better than the wheat so yeah we're gonna finish building this farm we have to go ahead and make all this farmland and then we're gonna go ahead and place down the potato seeds and stuff and it's gonna be a way better farm than the wheat farm okay we're done building the farm and it's currently looking like this it may not be the biggest farm yet but we are going to expand it and honestly this is going to be way more efficient than the old wheat farm and honestly the current one too because i did mess it up a little bit but yeah we're definitely going to take this and i'm going to show for an example why this is better than this way so basically in this way we had to go row by row but now we can just fly around like this mining and it's just way way more efficient and just way easier to actually farm these crops and this is going to be way way more helpful to us and with the potatoes we're now going to be able to help level up our mastery so we're definitely going to take that we're going to get more gems and stuff too which is always going to be a help to us and i think i'm going to open up some crates now i think i might have a few reduced less crates let's see okay we do have a few let me go ahead and empty my inventory i do have a bunch of random stuff in it right now okay let's go open up the crates in slash crates i'm just gonna spam open up all of the ones that i do have and okay looks like that's it we did get a lot of spawners nine value tickets okay we are going to take that we do need value tickets to actually go ahead and increase our island size we got an xp pouch we're definitely going to take that we got some more chunk hoppers we're going to take that too those are always going to be helpful and we got some spawners and dungeon keys okay that is not bad let's go ahead and place down all of these hopefully we can just place them anywhere and they'll go into the stack so uh, actually not the blazes because we do have a separate blaze farm because blazes don't actually i don't even think they die to fire but we do use blazes for xp so okay so let me go ahead and place down the blaze up here and i did get some dungeon keys which we do have a, quite a few i don't really do any dungeons we did do one in the previous video and they are pretty good for the coins but but yeah but now for the way people are actually getting a lot of value tickets is so basically with your hoe you can get an enchant called ticket finder and that just basically gives you a chance to find value tickets and that's honestly really it i mean i'm pretty sure that's all to it if i do find out more i will definitely go over that but i think i'm going to wrap things up there we did build a pretty good farm in this video but yeah i think i'm gonna end things there thanks for watching everybody i'll see you in this one peace out